welcome again back to the OAO desk. Today we have Wendy Marchini with us and I'm Pashmina P, CEO and founder of the Online Authors Office. Hi, Wendy, how are you? Good, thanks, Pashmina. How are you? I'm good. How's Genius? He's sitting there right next to you. I love it. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's happy. Every day is a happy day for Genius. <laughs> really reminds me out of a scene from Sesame Street, you sitting there with Genius. This is wonderful. Um, okay, so let's just get right into the questions because, you know, your audience has a lot of questions and queries about what they want to know about you. So the first question is, what inspired you to write the Genius series? Well, that, uh, that's a good question. Well, after studying for many years, uh, many programs from Bob Proctor, uh, Thinking Into Results, uh, Magic in Your Mind, uh, Lead the Field, I, I then authored two books for the adult market. And at that particular time, after that, I was hearing a lot of stories uh, from the media uh, about children committing suicide. And I thought, oh, that's just, you know, one child to lose a life is one child too many. So I thought, how can I take this material that I've been studying and make it uh, for, for the children to understand? And that's when I, I wrote the first of the genius um, and his friends uh, programs. Uh, and then followed it up with the, uh, the older children. So I had programs from grade one through to grade 12, but then I wanted Genius and his friends to be available for birth up to eight years. So that's how the Genius book series came about after that. So it's about, you know, delivering all this information that we've been learning for the children to understand in their language that they can understand. And that's how Genius and his friends came about to help the children understand. That's amazing. And I mean, my next question is, he is genius, but he, tell us more about him. I mean, I love that he's sitting there next to you. He is the main character, obviously, because the books are named after him. Who is he? What is he? What does he do? Tell us about him. Well, Genius is a fun-loving character, as you can see. He represents the mind. So he helps the children to understand their mind. And his arms are always open because he welcomes all the thoughts from the universe. And there's a lot of thoughts coming in, as you know. But he's always got a big smile on his face because he loves receiving all of the thoughts. It doesn't matter what type, but he loves the thoughts. And his friends that, that um, help Genius to take all the thoughts and jumble them up and send them back out uh, positively to help the children, to inspire them to imagine and dream so they can achieve and succeed. I love that. I love that is that. amazing. That is really and awesome. He's, he's all colors of the rainbow because, you know, the world is just perfect and it's all colors, like, like genius. We all have this inner genius. We're all perfect on the inside. Wow, we love Genius, he's so adorable, he really is. <laughs> so the creative impetus behind this character, Genius, was just so that you could get the message out to children in an easier way, is that right? That's, that's correct, because as you know, the, the area of personal development, learning about who we are, is for the adults, it's, it's um, really a journey to understanding who we are, and that can take quite a long time, and, it's, and I found it difficult, you know, studying the material initially, I thought, oh, how does all this work? So the, the idea of having a character so the children can relate to that character so they're having a problem with their feelings and emotions. They can then switch on to intuition interceptor. What would he do? And what, would, what does he say? And he helps them with, with the feelings and emotions. So that, that's how it, it, it all works. Yes. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> and you already told us who your target audience is. So you're looking for children who are quite young because this is where the actual memory comes in and they remember things that we teach them when they're young. So that's a great target audience. And you talked about this right at the beginning, that critical thinking is a major theme that runs through, the, through your books. So can you explain yeah. more about why you think this is important for the classroom? 
Well, as you know, we are not taught these critical thinking skills in school. And so uh, children are coming out of school and, and they don't have confidence. They don't believe in themselves. They don't understand who they are and what they can achieve. They're also not able to make decisions. So with Genius and his friends, teaching or, or helping them develop these skills and abilities for critical thinking. And as you know, critical thinking is gathering information and then you, you select a goal. So what do I, what criteria do I need to reach that goal? And it's no different from younger children where we have them perhaps learning to tie their shoelaces. So it's not going to happen overnight. You need to say, okay, I want to tie my shoelaces. What do I need to do in order to do that? So you have to practice and you have to be persistent. So this is all part of critical thinking. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's important. I mean, students really, children really need to think out their thought processes a little bit more in a streamlined manner. So that's really wonderful. And you have a curriculum map with your book, which is for the UK standards and now being edited for Australian standards and the Australian education. What do you hope teachers will gain from using your curriculum map as a tool? Well, it's just an added uh, area of, of learning for them. And it does, you know, the hard work's already been done for them. So they basically, you know, just uh, read along with the curriculum map. They will understand what to do. They're teachers. So it's just like an, an added uh, information kit for them to make their life a little bit easier in the classroom. That's great. I mean, as a former teacher, I, I would love to have some tools like that and have genius sitting at the end of my desk and have the series of books and the curriculum map just gives me the freedom to be able to teach your material in a very streamlined and, and easy manner. So that's a wonderful tool for the classrooms as well. Um, yes. So what is the one main message that you would like your audience or the children in the classroom to take away from the Genius series? I think it is that Genius shows them that as Genius says in his book, and it's the beginning and ending of his books, I am unique. As you can see, there is no one else in the world like me. So that message is to let all children know that they are special. They all are unique. They all have unlocked talent and abilities inside them. And Genius and his friends helps them to find out who they are and to unlock their inner genius. I love it. It's just beautiful. I really love it. Um, so what are your future plans for Genius and his friends? And are they the next characters to like Sesame Street is to the United States? Are Genius and his friends the next characters for Australia? Oh, most definitely. Having conversations with different people now to, to help Genius and his friends become the Sesame Street of Australia. Uh, Genius and his friends, the, this series uh, is nine books, as you know, but Genius is coming back with further books for, for children to, to help understand all about themselves. So, you know, watch this space. There's, there's further books in, in the making. That's wonderful. And do you offer any coaching with your books? And if so, please tell us more about this part of your business. Like, are you, would you go into a classroom and guide and, and show the, the students another side as the author, something else that maybe a teacher wouldn't be able to show them that you would be able to do? Oh, most definitely. So that is also on the cards. I'm uh, available to uh, via, via Zoom session here for overseas. And if it's a school nearby, I'm available for in-person in author um, visits. Uh, coaching at the moment, uh, I can do one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's, it's something that I, I'm hoping to start up again um, in the very near future. So that's, that's also an option. Um, I have uh, Genius and His Friends books will be appearing soon in, in a few bookstores here in Australia in the next couple of months. So that will be an opportunity for me to, to meet uh, parents and come in and, and personally sign the Genius and His Friends books for them. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Maybe I'll fly down to Australia to see that and be with you when you do that. 
Um, okay, and how can people, so what is the best way for people to reach you for your book signings, your author workshops to get the books from you, maybe some merchandise and also some coaching from you? Well, yes, uh, the website, innergeniusglobal.com. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the books are available through Amazon and Ingram Spark. Uh, on the website, we, we also have uh, the Genius and His Friends Adventure Pack, which you can purchase. And of course, uh, the curriculum map suitable for the UK is available on Amazon as we speak. Wonderful. So exciting. <laughs> And before we go, Wendy, can you please tell your audience what is the best thing about being an author? I think the best thing is uh, to be an author. It's like a vehicle to express your message or your story to get out into the world. So, you know, my story was I wanted this information to be available for children globally. And the best way to do that for me was to write the genius and his friends books. So it's, it's, it's a vehicle, a really, really great vehicle. I love being an author. I love to sit down and express um, the adventures of genius. Well, what is he going to happen next and where is he going? And, and it's just, uh, it's like um, a movie that's, uh, as you write things down, you can see it playing in your mind. And that reminds me, I'm, I'm in the process of writing a script, a movie script for Genius and His Friends, where you will get to meet another, of, uh, another friend called Bernie Bright. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> All these exciting things happen, happening for you in the pipeline, Wendy. And we're so honored to have to be part of your journey at the OAO. I just want to say thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for joining us. And from everyone at the OAO, thank you again and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.